When people think of seminaries, they often think of them as these monastic little enclaves, totally set apart from society. And we're here in Washington, D.C., which is itself a statement that seminary belongs in the public square. My name is Dr. Aaron Rosen, and I am professor of religion and visual culture and director of the Henry Luce III Center for the Arts and Religion at Wesley Theological Seminary. The project my team and I are working on is called The Art of Discernment, and it's really an exploration of spiritual calling in its aesthetic dimensions. We're not just interested in calling as something that happens in the quiet of night or even something that just bowls over a single individual. What we're trying to think about is what does it mean to experience a sense of calling within a community, particularly among seminary students? And what does it mean to experience calling as something sensory, something aesthetic, not just a relationship with an ethereal God or a text that suddenly speaks to you, but something that's deeply and profoundly sensual? In the classroom, we like to really press students about their faith. We're really interested in how is it that, that best art can really profoundly challenge people to clarify and articulate their faith in really interesting, compelling ways. Arts is really tied to that pedagogical mission of seminary, opening up people's discussions of their faith. Dr. Deborah Ambush is a fantastic student. She has a PhD in art education and then decided to come back to seminary in order to develop her sense of calling. I belong to an Episcopal church, and just on a whim, one of my fellow congregants said to me, you want to take this course at Wesley? And uh, I said, sure, not really knowing. Dr. Rosen was widely aware of the arts within a seminary institution. He was aware of my parallel interests in African-American church studies. And the thing that I think is keenly important is that I can talk about arts and religion, but I can talk about it contextually within African-American church studies. If you are leading a program, you need to be able to really let a holistic process happen. One of the things we're hoping to accomplish in this project is really to not only shed light on how big a part the arts are of seminary education already, but how much bigger a part they could be, that you really can't do seminary without doing the arts. I'm really excited because I think there are a lot of people like me, artists, who are really interested in doing this kind of work, but aren't really sure the calling matches up with the institution. The visual is really, ever-present in the work that I'm doing. Art and religion allows me to have an interpretive tool to use, which has been very important to me. <laughs>